Stephanie's daughter, Justine, has been struggling in school. Stephanie attended the Identification Placement and Review Committee, or IPRC, and has received the written statement of decision. The IPRC's written decision identifies Justine's exceptionality, determines her placement type, and gives reasons for the placement decision. Stephanie doesn't agree with the placement. She doesn't believe it will help Justine succeed. At first, she feels overwhelmed about what to do, but after reaching out to others who've gone through the process and learning more about her options, she decides to appeal Justine's placement. To do this, she must make a written request for a second IPRC meeting within 15 days of receiving the decision. The IPRC meets again, and they agree with their first decision. Stephanie decides to file a Notice of Appeal with the Special Education Appeal Board, or CAP for short. The Notice of Appeal must include what part of the IPRC decision she disagrees with, the identification, the placement, or both, and why she disagrees with it. Stephanie then meets with the Special Education Appeal Board. The board makes recommendations for a different placement for Justine, and the school board accepts the recommendations. Stephanie feels relieved and believes that this placement will work well for Justine. Appealing a decision can be an important step in finding the right placement, helping all students achieve success. However, the process can be complicated. Make sure to visit jfcy.org to learn more.